In this question, we will use AAS postulate, that's angle-angle side postulate, to prove the triangle congruence. These are all supposed to be proving problems. So let's try and understand how do we prove it, and then we can easily solve, uh, we can get the correct answers. Your flow proof, they have given you a flow proof that is basically, you know, uh, flow charts. You can see a part over here, over here, and then all of it points to what's the reason and why we are proving it. It's given that JK, can you see this line, JK and MK are equal. They have mentioned it. N and L are equal to each other. That means, see this and this angle. We need to prove these two triangles are congruent to each other. So we know for sure they must be congruent. Now, which is the angle that will be, uh, that can help us prove that? Here, the objective of this topic, it's AAS postulate. That means it's angle, angle side, isn't it? So we have one side, we have one angle. We need to look for one more angle. When I look here, this is the vertically opposite angle K. Because you can see whenever we have opposite angles like this, they're equal and these two are equal over here. So then we can easily say JKN must be congruent to LKM. Why? Because they're vertically opposite angles, vertical angle theorem. So what is the reason here? It is this option B is the reason actually. That is the reason for the third one because this is missing, right? So over here they have told what is the reason for JKN being congruent to MKN, MKL. That's vertical angle theorem. Let's look at this one here. They have told MS and RQ, see they, they are congruent and they are also parallel. Now if they are parallel, then we can use a lot of theorems, say alternate opposite angles, vertical opposite angles, there are plenty of it. Let's see what do we have to solve for. The reason behind MSP, what is MSP? This angle and RQP, RQP is over here, this angle. Can you see this angle which I have uh, crossed twice? See this, these angles, how are they equal? They're alternate angles because this is at left and right. So they're alternate and they're inside, right? The inside, inside these two lines. See, they're parallel lines inside them. So it's alternate interior angles. That would be the answer. So it's option A here. What about this one? Let's prove it. So choose the correct statement. So since it's the MCQ part, they will ask you the reason for certain points to be equal, but that is just prove it you know i'm not going to prove it in detail not like writing part i'll just tell you why and which terms are equal rq over here is congruent to st and they are also parallel to st if that is the case it's very very simple this angle will be congruent to this angle why alternate interior angles now this angle is congruent to this angle why alternate interior this this is vertical but since you are to use AAS, let's just choose two angles here. I know this line they have already given me is congruent to this line. So then I'll just choose two more angles. I'll choose this and this, this and this, that's fine. So therefore I can tell they're congruent. Now this is given, but now RQS, you can see RQS, this angle here and TSQ are congruent. Why? Because they're alternate, uh, alternate angles. We have one more angle, R, U, Q, and T, U, S. They are vertical angles. And here, oh, sorry, no, this is, uh, yeah, this is the triangle. This is the final answer. This had to be the thing. R, U, Q, and T, U, S. So this and this. This and this are angle and angle and we have a side. So there are two angles and one side. Therefore, it is AAS postulate. Here you can see it's interior, alternate interior angles, vertical angle theorem and it's angle angle side postulate. How about this problem? It's same way here then. Let's see what is given first. DAC. So DAC, this is congruent to BEC. B, E, C, this one. These two angles are done. And then we know that D, C, can you see this line D, C is congruent to B, C. Okay. This and this is congruent. Now you can see there are two triangles. Let me draw the triangle here. That is one. Okay. That is a very bad choice of choosing the color. Let me choose this color here. Okay, there are, those are the two triangles. I hope you can differentiate it. 
One is A, C, and D. One more is E, B, and C. Now, what is uh, one more angle? Because we got one angle and one side. So we need two angles, right? You can see this is literally the same reflexive property. It's the same angle for both. So we can say it's angle C. So we are D, A, C, and B, E, C. That's given, basically. Here, another one is also given. What next? Angle C and C, that's reflexive property. And lastly, they are uh, congruent triangles because of A, A, S postulate. Here we have a two column proof similar to what we were doing. We'll directly see what's the reason behind the congruency. BC is parallel to EF. That means this is corresponding angle. This is all you can you can find these are all equal. There are not all, sorry. We don't know whether these both are parallel. So I know for sure this is parallel to this, right? So I can only tell B is uh, corresponding to E, not anything else, okay? And AB, where is AB? This side is congruent to DE. So I know one angle, one side, and they have told us C and F. Here C and F are congruent. Okay, basically they have told everything, right? So what is, okay, now they have just uh, not given any side, right? No, they have told side. My bad, this is not given, guys. This is not given, that B and E is not given. I told you that it is. Why? Because these two lines are parallel, so they will be congruent because they're corresponding angles. That's it. So it's proved. Angle, angle, and side. I hope that's clear. See, BC and EF, that's the given. And over here, we know AB and DE are congruent given. C and F is congruent. So therefore, we can easily tell that, uh, you know, this one, ABC and DEF are equal to each other because of corresponding angles. Therefore, these both triangles are congruent to each other. That is AAS postulate. Here as well, even without going through the given, because they have given you the signs, you can just figure it out. Looking at this, I can easily tell this is equal. They have told. And this is also equal. This line RT is reflexive for both. And then we must see, because I can't proceed with this. I need to have one more angle, right? RT bisects STU. If it bisects, then this angle and this angle is equal. So now we have two angles and one side. So it's AAS postulate. That's it. What about this one here? Let's see. JK and MK that is given. They, they are equal sides. N and L are equal. See, now here they have not told anything about parla parallelity between any lines. Therefore, you must know this is vertical angles must be equal. So we've got two angles, one side. That is the answer. So you can see vertical angles. That is what, which angle? MKN and MKL or LKM. And here as well, paragraph proof DE. You can see DE is parallel to FG. This, these two lines are parallel. Now, if those two lines are parallel, we have a lot of things. This is alternate angles. And this is angle which is given to us. And this is the same side, so it's reflex reflexive side. So we can say it's A as possible because there are two angles and the side. What about this one here? Again, it's similar one. We have been told U and V, uh, U Y, and W X are parallel. If they are parallel, then there are plenty of equal or congruent angles. Then what about the next one? They have told also V is the midpoint of Y and W. So this side is equal to this side. So angle side, angle done. Look here, we are supposed to prove it by angle side, angle, angle side. That means there must be two angles and then one side. So we can take two angles and a side. Here we go. You can just go through this. The most important thing is you should know the reasoning behind why they are congruent. See now, dub. VWX, where is W here? VWX is congruent to VYU, VYU. That means they both are alternate. W over here and Y over here are alternate interior angles. That's the reason. So understand the reason, that would be more than enough. Here we have MS is parallel to RQ. That's this line. MS is also congruent, parallel and congruent. They have told both parallel and congruent. That means then you have to find two angles. 
one of this angle and one of the vertical opposite angles or you can find two alternate angles itself it's up to you so we have vertical angle and alternate angle so angle angle and side congruency that is the end of this question i hope it is clear if you have any doubts please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments i hope you all will head on to the next video